So in this video, I want to go through how to use Selenium with jQuery, especially the jQuery slider, and also within the context of an iframe. So the sample I'm going to run uh, this moment is moving the slider to the right, then back to the left. So let me do that and run the three tests I have in the three Chrome browsers, and then I'll explain exactly what's going on in each. So let me kick that off right now. And the first test is going to be on Firefox. And you could see it's just simply uh, incrementing to the right and then back to the left, and that's the test. And if uh, you want to go through some of my past videos on how to set all this up with all three browsers, you could search for it in my catalog. So here again, this is the Chrome browser, and it's just uh, doing the same exact test. And this is IE, and again, it's the same exact test in just all three different browsers. So if you, we go through the code, the first thing you need is the interactions namespace. That's where the action and actions classes are in addition to each individual driver that you have to include. So let's take a look at the code. The code itself is actually very basic. Um, the first thing I do for all three browsers, all three browsers test actually call this method. And the first thing I do is I actually switch to the context of the iframe. And uh, if I don't do that, it actually will not find the element. So the way I did that was I went into Chrome and I went into the debug window which is um, or the developers tools uh, which is uh, hitting F F12 and if I hover over the magnifying glass and to the element that I want it'll locate it and as you can see, it's actually just an anchor without an ID. The ID is actually within the div above. So the way I actually get that location is either I could use Firefox and I could use the Selenium IDE, or I can locate it with the hourglass here and do copy xpath, uh, which is this which is actually this location here. So you'll see it's the div with the ID and then it gets the anchor child tag below it. So um, all this is is just navigating the DOM using XPath. Uh, but you'll notice the other issue here is there's actually an iframe. And the iframe prevents me from uh, directly getting the element so I do have to switch the context into the iframe because an iframe for the most part is another window um, or at least in the past it was implemented as another window so you wouldn't actually be able to see or search for the elements within that iframe without switching to that window slash iframe so that's what I'm doing here and after I get the element via the xpath and navigating through the DOM using this expression I actually do go into my method here which uses the actions class and um, here what it's doing is simply instantiating the actions class and doing a chain of actions so there's actually three actions here one is actually holding clicking and holding this widget here um, and if you remember this is what I'm passing in and that corresponds to this little nub here on the slider. So I'm actually passing that in. So that's actually the first action, which is the click and hold, then the move by offset, and then the release. And that builds the actions. And when I do the debugger later, you'll see it, this is actually simply an array of all three of those actions that the perform is actually uh, running. So um, let me go through some of these tests. So if you notice, this is my Firefox test method. And it's just calling the same exact uh, statements as the other Chrome test and uh, 
Internet Explorer test. So let me do that. Let me go through one of the debugger and I could show you that. Um, let me just put in some proper some proper uh, breakpoints here. Okay, so I'm going to go through the debugger and you could see what's actually going on within the APIs. So it's going to bring up the Chrome browser for this test. And I'm actually going to step into the test. I'm going to step into that move jQuery slider, which is my custom. So you'll see here this actions object consists of an array of all three of those actions. So that's really what it's doing here and let me just run it so it's just going to i'm just going to uh hit continue and it's just going to run the left left uh the right moving it to the right and moving it to the left and you'll see in the background that's simply what it's doing so that really concludes um this video i mean that's really all you need for working with the jQuery slider and it will be very similar with the other uh, kind of jQuery UI elements and it's a very I guess it's the same technique as far as using it with the same I mean with all of the different types of uh, GUI elements that you see there, which is very common now uh, in a lot of these web applications that you're going to be testing. Okay, uh, thank you for watching.